Hi, in today's video, we will see different parameters of evaluating a performance of a model that is specifically classification model of supervised learning. First of all, we will see how to create a confusion metric for a given classification problem. Then we will see different measures of classification such as accuracy, error rate, sensitivity, specificity, precision and kappa coefficient. Now classification is a process of assigning a label to a target feature based on the value of a predictor feature. We have two types of feature, input feature which are called as predictor feature and output feature which are called as target feature. Now we are preparing a model which learns how to assign a target feature label based upon the values of predictor feature. That is our classification problem. Consider an example of a problem which predicts winning and lose of cricket match. There are only two possibilities a target feature can take. We can either predict a system that match is going to get win or it is going to get loss. Now the predictor feature of input or I would say input features of this particular problem will be how many wins are there, uh, whether the team has win toss or not, how many number of spinners are there, what is the performance of each and every player in this particular cricket match team, number of wins in a team tournament, run rate of batsmen and there are many more parameters that can be taken as an input feature or predictor feature to a particular problem. Now classification is said to correct if prediction is that is made by a model is matching with an actual outcome. So based upon number of correct and incorrect predictions, accuracy of classification model is calculated. So there are basically there are four possibilities if we are working with binary classification. Binary classification means there are only two possible values of predicting label and there are only two outcomes that can actually happen. So, in a cricket match, where we are, whether we are predicting winning or losing of a particular team, there are four possibilities such as model predicted that team is going to win and team actually won. Model predicted that team is going to win but team actually lost. Third scenario is that when model predicts that team is going to lose and team actually won, and so it, it might also happen that model predicted team is going to lose and the team actually loses. So out of these four, uh, we will assign only one prediction as our true prediction and second type of prediction as false prediction. Let us consider our winning of a team is considered as positive outcome and lose of the team is considered as negative outcome. So, class of interest is always positive which is nothing but winning of a team. Now, we will create something called as confusion matrix. A confusion matrix is a tool which determines the performance of a classifier or classification algorithm. For a classification, if there are n classes, confusion matrix size will be n cross n. If we consider binary classification, our confusion matrix will be of true cost true size because we have only two possible outcomes of a problem. So confusion matrix will look like something like this where we have something called as an actual label of a particular problem and there are something called as predicted label of a problem which is actually predicted by classifier or a classification algorithm. So, number of outcomes where actually labels predicted by a system is win and actually team wins is called as something true positive. That is model predicted team is going to win and team actually wants. Fourth scenario where model predicted that team is going to lose and team actually wins is called as true negative values. So, when predicted level is loss and actual level is also loss, we call that category as true negative values. Win 
model is predicting that team is going to get win and team actually lost is called as false positive because system has predicted positive label in a false way that's why the label is false positive and if model predicts that team is going to lose but actually it wins is called as false negatives that means team has, model has predicted negative labels in false way so using these formula we are going to calculate six different matrices of classification first major of classification is sensitivity sensitivity of a particular classifier is also called as true positive rate or recall it is major of positive examples which are labeled possibly positively by a classifier it is calculated as true positive divided by true positive and false negative that means out of how many wins so these the addition of these two numbers are winning cases of a team but out of those actual wins how many wins system or model has predicted is a ratio of true positive to true positive plus false negative let us calculate sensitivity or recall for a given example now over this example as you can see there are 85 percent wins where predicted label and actual label both are positive and there are only two cases where team actually wins instead of model predicted that they are going to lose so basically we will add 85 plus 2 that is nothing but 87 and out of 87 actual wins system correctly predicted positive outcomes 85 times so we will take ratio of 85 with 87 that is equal to 97.7% wins are correctly classified that is called sensitivity or true positive rate or recall of a classifier second measure of classifier is specificity specificity is called as true negative rate that means how many negative examples or things you teams using are actually classified as loss that means out of these are the actual loss cases that is false positive plus true negative and out of these two how many system have correctly identified negative examples that is nothing but true negative so in the ratio of true negative to true negative plus false positive is called as specificity or true negative ratio or true negative rate of a classifier for a same example let us calculate how to find out specificity now total loss of system are 4 plus 9 that is, is equal to 30 and system correctly predicted number of losses are 9 so ratio will be 9 by 30 that is 69.2 percent losses are correctly classified by a given classifier another measure is precision of a classifier a precision is a ratio to the total number of correctly classified positive examples to the total number of predicted positive examples so in total system have predicted how many cases which are which are classified as winning of a team so predicted label is win that means this row is actually predicting total number of wins which are predicted by a model and out of how many actually wins we have got of a team is called as the ratio is called as precision so true positive plus false positive are the total number of predicted win labels out of this true positives are actually wins that are made by T. So the ratio of true positive to true positive plus false negative is called as precision of a classifier. For a same example, if we would like to calculate precision, it would be 85 plus 4. Total number of wins that are predicted by a particular model and actual wins are 85. So we will take a ratio of 85 to 89. That is, is equal to 95.5%. Whenever this model is going to predict win, is 
team is going to actually win. Fourth major of classifier is accuracy. An accuracy of a particular classifier is total number of correct predictions. That is, correct predictions are nothing but true positive and true negative and its ratio is taken out of all number of predictions made by a particular model. So, we will take true positive plus true negative divided by true positive plus false positive plus false negative plus true negative. So, accuracy of a given example is calculated as for a given example, uh, we will take 85 plus 89, that is true positive plus true negative, divided by all, sum of all these predictions, that is 85 plus 4 plus 2 plus 9. So, this will be 94 divided by 100, that is, is equal to 94% of examples are correctly classified by a particular classifier. So, this is called as an accuracy of a classifier. Similarly, error rate of a classification is a percentage of misclassification. It is a reciprocal of accuracy. So, whatever the accuracy is there, if we take difference from 100, we will get an error rate. Error rate is 100 minus model's accuracy percentage. If accuracy of a given model is 94%, error rate of a same model would be 6%, that is, is equal to 100 minus 94. Another measure of a particular model is calculated as kappa coefficient. A kappa coefficient is a statistical test that is generated to evaluate accuracy of classification. If accuracy of a model is very good, say 94% or 96%, but how much correct that accuracy we have calculated. So, that test is called as kappa coefficient. A value of kappa coefficient always ranges from minus 1 to 1. If kappa coefficient value is 0, that indicates classification is not better than random classification. So, whatever the classification or accuracy is given by a particular model is equivalent to the performance of a random classification model. If we get negative number or negative value which is closer to minus 1, that means our classification model is performing worse than random classification model. And if value is close to 1 of a kappa coefficient, that indicates our model is performing significantly better than any random classification model. Now, let us check how to calculate this kappa coefficient. So, uh, an equation for kappa coefficient is given as P of A minus P of PR divided by 1 minus PR. Where P of A is nothing but observed accuracy. And we all know that accuracy is calculated as correct classification divided by all number of classification. Correct classifications are true positive plus true negative divided by all classifications are TP. True positive, false positive, false negative and true negative. Another element in kappa coefficient is chance agreement or P of PR. Now chance agreement is calculated as true positive plus false positive divided by all number of samples into true positive plus false negative divided by all number of samples. So, if you observe carefully, this is true positive plus false positive, this row white sum divided by all number of classification into we have true positive plus false negative, that is the sum of this first column divided by all numbers of samples in a given confusion matrix. Then we will add a sign of plus, these two components are getting multiplied. Then we will have a summation of false negative plus true negative, that is this particular component divided by all number of classifications into false positive plus true negative, that is the second value divided by all number of observation or classification. So, these are nothing but kappa coefficient chance of agreement. 
So we will take first summation row wise and column wise, so it would be easier for us. So total number we first calculate observed accuracy, which is nothing but diagonal sum divided by total number of samples. So diagonal sum is 85 plus 89, which is, is equal to 94, and sum of all elements or cells is 100. So 94 divided by 100 is 0.94. And likewise, we are going to calculate row sum wise. So first element row wise, first element column wise is my first and second parameter. And second element row wise and second element column wise are my next two parameters. Remember, first two parameters are multiplied and last two parameters are multiplied and these two parameters are individually taken as sum. So, value we have observed is 0.7886. Now, we have chance of agreement. We will substitute observed accuracy and chance agreement value in a given particular formula. So, 0.94 minus 0.7886 divided by 1 minus 0.7886 kappa coefficient value is 0.7162. Since this value is closer to positive 1, my classifier is performing much better than random classification. If I would have got this value as negative, I would say my classifier is performing worse than random classification. If this value, if I would have observed or calculated as 0, this classifier, even though accuracy is good, is similar performing as of random classification. So these are the measures for a classification. For any binary classification, we will first calculate confusion matrix. Then we are going to find out number of parameters measures such as accuracy, error rate, specificity, sensitivity, precision and Kappa coefficient. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.